Ah, morning everyone. John Neal here. It's uh, Monday the 22nd of March and spring is in the air. So that it's a bit grey to be honest. But uh, anyway, Monday's a better day for a bike ride because with the lockdown, um, uh, people at weekends are just standing very local. There's lots of cars and people around all over the place. But um, today it's uh, going to be okay. Well, I've reached Market Bosworth um, along Sutton Lane, which, as it says here, to Sutton Cheney is a gated road. And uh, yeah, if you're looking for spring flowers, this is the sort of place. And uh, thatched cottages. There is. Um, a curious theory I have about um, village properties. Uh, this I understand was a bakery over here. And uh, at some point in the past, it burnt down, which they often did, because there wasn't very good safety measures or indeed fire services to stop them burning down. But a lot of these places are tiny. Um, I mean, this cottage here, for instance, I don't know what it would sell for nowadays, but you know, <laughs> position like this I'm looking at possibly half a million quid and yet they're basically properties for the peasants for the workers they weren't big they were quite pokey but now they sell for desirable residences right let's move on this is the main street in Market Bosworth this shows how quaint it is this is called the old police house so no doubt the local policeman would be here but it's a remarkable residence, this, I love it. And here's another shot of this corner cottage, which is quaint, but small. <laughs> this is an old telephone box, but nobody has a use for it anymore. And it's now got books in it, it's a little library. I've seen better than this, but it's still got the old telephone in it, look. And a telephone number for taxis. Well, this is the uh, middle of Bosworth. Market Bosworth, that is. And this is the sort of centre of the village. And, um, yeah, these houses go back a while. We had a very nice tea over there, an afternoon tea. And this is the grammar school, the Dixie Grammar School. I'll tell you a bit more about that in a bit. And that, the cooperative food shop. They're all over the place in Britain and they're very good indeed. And get this, opening soon, a barbecue kitchen. This used to be a butcher's for the Turkish barbecue people. They seem to get everywhere. Let me just walk you through along here to the main church, St Peter's Church here in Market Bosworth. I suspect this was built by the Dixies, the family that lived in the big house at the back which is now a hotel. Let's have a close look at it.
Ashworth Hall, once the home of the Dixie family for three or four hundred years. And over the road here is the rest of their estate, I presume, which is now the Country Park. Moving on across to the rest of Market Bosworth Town. And there is the centre. That flight was <laughs> successful, although I was stood there and a lady came by with a dog she was trailing. Taking ages to get by, I don't think she knew what I was doing, but I, I didn't want to disappoint her. So she, she went off and uh, got the drone down nice and safely, which is great. <coughs> the church here goes back to the 13th, 14th centuries. Most Church of England churches in England do, uh, with various rebuilds and various points. Uh, you can see, if you look closely apparently, where the roof line of previous um, parts of the building were. Uh, Bosworth Hall at the back is now a hotel, um, but it was the seat for three or four hundred years of the Dixie family. And um, quite a tumultuous uh, existence really, because I think in the 19th century, uh, much of the land and the property and the value of it was lost in gambling one of the owners but there was um, a famous um, woman who uh, was uh, the wife of one of the Dixies yeah her name was Florence Douglas um, in 1875 um, the uh, baronet married her and um, she wrote uh, various books she traveled it was a hunter and uh, an, an advocate of the suffragette movement for the votes for women. She wrote a bestseller about traveling across Patagonia. Can you imagine back in the 19th century to do that? Remarkable. And in the 20th century, the hall changed hands a few times and was bought by Leicester County Council in 1931. It became a hospital during the war, as many of these big places did, and then finally converted into a hotel. Um, and as it was being renovated, that, that firm went bankrupt, was then bought by Britannia Hotel. So that's what it is now. It's um, a hotel. I've got a feeling um, Lady Dixie was from up north, from Yorkshire. You've got to watch these Yorkshire gals. I married one. They can be quite um, feisty, shall we say. Right, I better move on because it's a bit chilly. Hey, Sylvie, what's the temperature today? The high today will be 10 degrees, and the low will be 6. I think at the moment it's 6. I'm going to wrap up and uh, set off back. Lost again, going back around Dreaming of a time when I get things right Lost in the shadows of a million stars Shouldn't they enlighten my near and far? Shouldn't they at all just tell me where you are? Send a prayer if I'm out of luck Send a little love and I'll make it back Send me a letter and a bottle of Baby, I'm stuck with a halfway heart 
halfway hard Halfway hard Sing to me if I lose my voice Is it a better route if I lose my course? Count on my company and I will come Save me when I am falling Save me when I am falling Save my love when I fall It's nice to see in this field there's some lapwings zooming around. They're fantastic birds and they um, were under some sort of uh, threat. I swear there's a, a crane, a white crane as well, which is fairly unusual. But uh, yeah, they swoop around along the field here and make this wonderful noise. And um, true to form, just stop doing it. These lapwings are also called peewits, which is after the sound that they make. But to see their black and white plumage as they chase each other about in the fields, I presume male after female, is quite spectacular. And it's uh, really good to see them back in the countryside. Well, I hope you enjoyed that trip to Bosworth with me. Uh, it's great to see those lapwings and uh, pleased to see that the, uh, the drone went without any mishap, at least, anyway. Okay, right, don't forget to subscribe and uh, click that notification button. And uh, I will see you next time. Okay, we'll meet, no, let's put it this way. We'll meet again in the next video. I think that's the best way of putting it. We'll meet again. Okay, bye-bye. Lost again, going back around Dreaming of a time when I get things right Lost in the shadows of a million stars